Chapters 1 through 5 of Zechariah, American Standard Version. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information and to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sam Stinson. Chapter 1 In the eighth month, in the second year of Darius, came the word of Jehovah unto Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Idu, the prophet, saying, Jehovah was sore displeased with your fathers. Therefore say thou unto them, Thus saith Jehovah of hosts, Return unto me, saith Jehovah of hosts, and I will return unto you, saith Jehovah of hosts. Be ye not as your fathers, unto whom the former prophets cried, saying, Thus saith Jehovah of hosts, Return ye now from your evil ways and from your evil doings. But they did not hear, nor hearken unto me, saith Jehovah. Your fathers, where are they? And the prophets, do they live for ever? But my words and my statutes, which I command my servants, the prophets, did they not overtake your fathers? And they turned and said, Like as Jehovah of hosts thought to do unto us, according to our ways and according to our doings, so hath he dealt with us. Upon the four and twentieth day of the eleventh month, which is the month Shebat, in the second year of Darius, came the word of Jehovah unto Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Edu, the prophet, saying, I saw in the night, and behold, a man riding upon a red horse. And he stood among the myrtle trees that were in the bottom, and behind him there were horses, red, sorrel, and white. Then said I, O oh my Lord, what are these? And the angel that talked with me said unto me, I will show thee what these are. And the man that stood among the myrtle trees answered and said, These are they whom Jehovah hath sent to walk to and fro through the earth. And they answered the angel of Jehovah that stood among the myrtle trees and said, We have walked to and fro through the earth, and behold, all the earth sitteth still and is at rest. Then the angel of Jehovah answered and said, O Jehovah of hosts, how long wilt thou not have mercy on Jerusalem, and on the cities of Judah, against which thou hast had indignation these threescore and ten years? And Jehovah answered the angel that talked with me, with good words, even comfortable words. So the angel that talked with me said unto me, Cry thou, saying, Thus saith Jehovah of hosts, I am jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with a great jealousy. And I am very sore displeased with the nations that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they helped forward the affliction. Therefore thus saith Jehovah, I am returned to Jerusalem in it, saith Jehovah of hosts. And a line shall be stretched forth over Jerusalem. Cry yet again, saying, Thus saith Jehovah of hosts, My cities shall yet overflow with prosperity, and Jehovah shall yet comfort Zion and shall yet choose Jerusalem. And I lifted up mine eyes, and saw, and behold, four horns. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What are these? And he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. And Jehovah showed me four smiths. Then said I, What come these to do? And he spake, saying, these are the horns which scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to terrify them, to cast down the horns of the nations, which lifted up their horn against the land of Judah, to scatter it. End of chapter 1 Chapter 2 And I lifted up mine eyes, and saw, and behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand. Then said I, Whither goest thou? And he said unto me, to measure Jerusalem, to see what is the breadth thereof, and what is the length thereof. And behold, the angel that talked with me went forth, and another angel went out to meet him, and said unto him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as villages without walls, by reason of the multitude of men and cattle therein. For I, saith Jehovah, will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and I will be the glory in the midst of her. Ho, ho, flee from the land of the north, saith Jehovah, 
for I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heavens, saith Jehovah. Ho, Zion, escape thou that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. For thus saith Jehovah of hosts, after glory hath he sent me unto the nations which plundered you. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. For behold, I will shake my hand over them, and they shall be a spoil to those that served them, and ye shall know that Jehovah of hosts hath sent me. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for lo, I come, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, saith Jehovah. And many nations shall join themselves to Jehovah in that day, and shall be my people, and I will dwell in the midst of thee. And thou shalt know that Jehovah of hosts hath sent me unto thee. And Jehovah shall inherit Judah as his portion in the holy land, and shall yet choose Jerusalem. Be silent, all flesh, before Jehovah, for he is waked up out of his holy habitation. End of chapter 2 Chapter 3 And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of Jehovah, and Satan standing at his right hand to be his adversary. And Jehovah said unto Satan, Jehovah rebuke thee, O Satan, yea, Jehovah that hath chosen Jerusalem, rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments, and was standing before the angel. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take the filthy garments from off him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with rich apparel. And I said, Let them set a clean mitter upon his head. So they set a clean mitter upon his head, and clothed him with garments, and the angel of Jehovah was standing by. And the angel of Jehovah protested unto Joshua, saying, Thus saith Jehovah of hosts, If thou wilt walk in my ways, and if thou wilt keep my charge, then thou also shalt judge my house, and shalt also keep my courts. And I will give thee a place of access among these that stand by. Hear now, O Joshua the high priest, thou and thy fellows that sit before thee, for they are men that are a sign for behold, I will bring forth my servant, the branch. For behold, the stone that I have set before Joshua, upon one stone are seven eyes. Behold, I will engrave the graving thereof, saith Jehovah of hosts, and I will remove the iniquity of that land in one day. And that day, saith Jehovah of hosts, shall ye invite every man his neighbor, under the vine, and under the fig tree. End of chapter 3 Chapter 4 and the angel that talked with me came again, and waked me, as a man that is wakened out of his sleep. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I said, I have seen, and behold, a candlestick all of gold, with its bowl upon the top of it, and its seven lamps thereon. There are seven pipes to each of the lamps, which are upon the top thereof, and two olive trees by it, one upon the right side of the bowl, and the other upon the left side thereof. And I answered and spake to the angel that talked with me, saying, What are these, my lord? Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, Knowest thou not what these are? And I said, No, my lord. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of Jehovah unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith Jehovah of hosts. Who art thou, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel thou shalt become a plain, and he shall bring forth the top stone with shoutings of grace, grace unto it. Moreover the word of Jehovah came unto me, saying, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house. His hands shall also finish it, and thou shalt know that Jehovah of hosts hath sent me unto you. For who hath despised the day of small things? For these seven shall rejoice, and shall see the plummet in the hand of Zerubbabel. These are the eyes of Jehovah, which run to and fro through the whole earth. Then answered I, and said unto him, What are these two olive trees upon the right side of the candlestick, and upon the left side thereof? And I answered the second time, and said unto him, 
what are these two olive branches which are beside the two golden spouts that empty the golden oil out of themselves and he answered me and said knowest thou not what these are and i said no my lord then said he these are the two anointed ones that stand by the lord of the whole earth end of chapter four chapter five then again I lifted up mine eyes, and saw, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole land. For every one that stealeth shall be cut off on the one side according to it, and every one that sweareth shall be cut off on the other side according to it. I will cause it to go forth, saith Jehovah of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name. And it shall abide in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof, and the stones thereof. Then the angel that talked with me went forth and said unto me, Lift up now thine eyes, and see what is this that goeth forth. And I said, What is it? And he said, This is the ephah that goeth forth. He said, Moreover, this is their appearance in all the land. And behold, there was lifted up a talent of lead. And this is a woman sitting in the midst of the ephah. And he said, This is wickedness. And he cast her down in to the midst of the ephah, and he cast the weight of lead upon the mouth thereof. Then lifted I up mine eyes, and saw, and behold, there came forth two women, and the wind was in their wings. Now they had wings like the wings of a stork, and they lifted up the ephah between earth and heaven. Then said I to the angel that talked with me, Whither do these bear the ephah? And he said unto me, To build her a house in the land of Shinar, and when it is prepared, she shall be set there in her own place. End of chapter 5